Hell y'all. Welcome to part 9 of my Country Ball Catch Em All playthrough. Country Ball Catch Em All is a ROM hack for Pokemon Fire Red made by 4chan users. And in part 8, we got our second badge, the Tactics badge. We got it from the gym leader with a flag master in Sal Empanada. That's the name of the city. Let's go to our profile. We can see that. Where is the Tactics badge? It's the football. The second one at the bottom there. So we got a football. Well, the tactics badge is a football. Well, it's designed like a football. We got that from Simon, well, Boliviar, who was the water type flag master, who is basically in this ROM hack, flag masters are gym leaders. But we did get the badge from them with by using a fire type country ball, the Russian Empire. And speaking of the Russian Empire, they're at level 29, and hopefully they will evolve soon. So anyway, right now we're in Kai Root, and we're trying to get to a place called Syrabia. Syria, 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 whatever. We gotta get there and make our way through this area here. What are you, Coco Isles? I mean, I'll capture you. You're a ground type. There's a lot of ground types out here in this desert. Have the Russian Empire do a little bit of damage. Use blast, please. We called a West Sahara. Allocated one shot at the Coco Isles. That was not really planned, but we'll take it. Get some EXP for the Russian Empire. But yeah, we did capture a West Sahara in part eight. Yeah. That's what we did, and let's continue here. Just run around, keep exploring. May get into a trainer battle sooner or later. This is a Martinique, Martinique, which is a water type, pure water type. And I think they're an island in real life. That's what they're, they're, they're huge though. I will say that. Tactical IED will not do much damage to them, it's whatever. Okay, did a little bit of damage. Better than nothing, I suppose. But hopefully we can capture it. It uses signal jam. Good thing it didn't use any offensive moves. Because if it did, I might have been out of luck there. Let's go to our items, go to our ball here, our pokey, well, their town balls in this ROM hack. Throw it at that Mart Martinique and get it on our team. So we'll have a level 13 water type. Add them to our flag book, which is this region's pokey decks. And speaking of regions, the region we're playing in is called Terra. So we call it Martinique, and they're going to be added to the flag book. What's it going to say? We have a lot of other stuff. No step on snake, please. Snake country. Don't know why they're that whatever give a nickname to him no actually cancel 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 go back back i didn't mean to hit this whatever hit start then okay whatever i think they evolved from tonga or something not entirely sure and this is a trainer battle our future is as bright as the sun bleached sands okay this is gonna be Serabian someone that's the type of trainer type they are this is Serabian Serabian farouk we gotta fight for rook who's gonna use tonga and something else and a level 17 Tonga, who's a water type, versus our Russian Empire. Use Blast, cause it's a normal type move, and this is a water type. And Blast did a fair amount of damage. Tonga uses Smoke Grenade. Okay, it's gonna lower the, lower the what, accuracy of the Russian Empire. All right, let's use Blast again. to try to finish him off. It did half HP the first time, and it does half HP again, and it causes Tonga to faint. Russian Empire gained 301 XP points, and they're sending out a second Tonga. We're not gonna change Country Balls, keep the Russian Empire in the field, they have one more Tonga. Farouk may regret doing that. Just use Blast again. I hope Tonga doesn't do anything too aggressive. Tonga is going to use Channel Mines. That is a water type move. Should be super effective, unfortunately. And yeah, did like 12 damage. But it doesn't matter too much though, because the Russian Empire is like has 78 H 78 HP at level 29, which is a pretty good deal, I'd say. Pretty good stats for HP anyway. It's gained 301 XP points. Nice. Sarabian Farouk was defeated. What does he have to say for himself? He says, and our defeat feels as cold as the desert nights. He was saying that stuff about the future, and now he says that about defeat. We got 1,020 Poke Dollars from this. What does he have to say now after we defeated him? He says, brr, it's cold out all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, the cold defeat. Very cold defeat, wasn't it? Let's keep running around. Try to add something else to our team. This is a, what is this? That is the West Sahara. We already have a West Sahara. We'll use tactical IED for them. Cause it's just an effective move. Use that, please, Russia. I mean, Russian Empire got this. And I'm hoping when the Russian Empire gets to level 30, they'll evolve into something. I'm thinking Soviet Union got 105 XP points for that. I want to assume it's the Soviet Union. We got a battle here. And what's this going to be? This is a another Martinique. We're going to just run from this battle. No point matching the Russian Empire with it. I don't want to get knocked out from this battle. Managed to retreat. We're good. We already have a type of country ball like that anyhow let's fight this guy here he's gonna see us don't underestimate us we've got 
WMDs. I mean, sure. They're not going to be very useful against me because I have a country ball. And this is Desert, you know, Serabian. Serabian had their. He sends out Laos. The only thing he has is Laos. Is that your WMD? Is Laos the weapon of mass destruction? Okay, we'll use Tactical IED on them. They're a fighting type, I think. Whatever, they're going to get one shot by the Tactical IED. So that beats the WMD. What do they have to say for themselves now? The Russian Empire got 301 XP po EXP points. Serbian Hadir says, what does he say? He says, weapons of mass disappointment. <laughs> weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass disappointment. That's a pretty, I gotta check a lot of that. 960 Pokey Dollars. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. After a defeat like that, what does he have to say now? I'll get the drop on you yet, Traveler. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Let's go this way. We have one more battle, one more trainer around here, I think. In the general vicinity. Hey, look, there's a Coco Isles. I'm gonna capture you. Don't get one shot this time, please. Don't get one shot, I beg of you. Just use Renaissance on them. Renaissance is like a stat affecting move. It's like their speed stat's gonna harshly fall, which is whatever. Coco Isles speed harshly fail. They're gonna use. What are they gonna use? They use Sanction. That's not gonna do much of anything, but whatever. And obviously, the Coco Isles is an island of some type. I don't know where it's located in real life. Let's use this Town Ball, though, try to capture this Coco Isles at full HP, though, so they may not go in there. I wish I didn't have to one-shot them with the Russian Empire. Stay in there, stay in there, don't go out. Okay, they went in there, good. Coco Isles was caught, and what do they have to say for themselves? Coco Isles data was added to the flag book, and they evolved from Toko Isles, I think. They're a small, small country. Number 52, Coco Isles. Mmm, hot Coco. Okay, good, we got a Toko, Toko Isles. We're not going to give you a nickname. As I get all these names confused with all these countries for these more smaller ones. Anyway, we have a trainer battle here. The guy turned around. He's going to approach us. He says, think you can withstand the heat of the Arabian sun? Yes, in fact, I do. I do. I'm not going to get no sunburn out here. And let's fight. It's Arabian Nadim. He's going to send out Nauru, which is a water type. And we have the Russian Empire, who, of course, is going to take the stage, per se. And they're going to use tactical IED. I hope the... Nadim doesn't block the... Okay, nearly one-shot Nauru. You know it's not very effective. Nauru uses Signal Jam. That's going to confuse the Russian Empire. I hope Nadim doesn't... The guy we're fine. I hope he doesn't block the path we were on because of the way he went when he encountered us. He used a tactical ID, even though we were confused. Russian Empire still lands it. It's not very effective. doesn't matter. Nauru is down. And they fainted. Russian Empire gained 331 XP points. Nadim... What's the field? What's he got to say? Ouch, I forgot my sunscreen. Lemon got 960 Poke Dollars from winning. Good. And yeah, this is a uh, sort of block that way now, but whatever. We don't need to go that way anyhow. Probably there's the Coco Isles. Just avoid them, maybe. Or no. Might as well get some free XP for the, for the Russian Empire. Use Blast. That should one-shot them, hopefully. It did. There we, there we go. They were one-shot they fainted. Russian Empire got 98 XP points. Hopefully that guy moved. No, he's going to be stuck there forever. Whatever, keep encountering stuff, I guess. This is a, another Coco Isles. Russian Empire just used Blast. Get it over with. And once we're done with, done here, we're going to go up some steps over to the right and hope that takes us to where we need to go. Coco Isles, I mean, Coco Isles was defeated. They fainted, even though the Coco Isles are a thing in this that isn't the Coco Isles. They're a poison type. Coco Isles is like a normal type, I think. Run here. There's a cave up there we got to get to, maybe. And this is a Coco Isles again. Great. I wonder if we're going to count any more stuff besides Coco Isles, West Sahara, and Martinique. Whatever you use. Tactical IED. Waste of a move, though, in this situation. They're going to get one shot almost. Oh, they barely survived. They use Blackmail, though. Does a little bit of damage. Use Blast. Because it's a normal type move, we have a lot of PP for it. And down, down goes Coco Isles. They fainted. 138 XP points. Russian Empire is gradually grinding up. And is there anything down here we need to go to? Anything at all interesting? Maybe I'm trying to see if there's any items around here. I may not have got to. Let's retreat from this battle. I don't want to fight a level 16 water type with a pure fire type. Won't probably end well. Just retreat. Just retreat. I had plenty of fun with fighting water types with fire types in the... There, those are Coco Isles. Let's just one-shot that. We found nothing but water types in that second gym, and that was a pain. I had to retry it. I'd have a second attempt. Use Blast here. One shot that Coco Isles. They're fainted now. Russian Empire is going to get how much XP? 118. Okay, they're very close to being level 30. Let's cross this bridge or not. I may have to get some pepper spray. I'm going to apply pepper spray, honestly. Honest. Well, on our, 
on, yeah, because it's useful for warding off weak country balls, and I don't want to keep encountering Coco Isles forever. There we go, Coco Isles is going to have Sanction now. Hopefully after this, the Russian Empire will level up, but we'll have to see how that goes. Use Blast, take out this Coco Isles. This is like the fourth or fifth one we defeated now. Not counting the one we added to our team, 118 XP points. Let's apply that, go to our backpack, go find the Pepper Spray, where's the item at? Here it is, down here, Pepper Spray. Prevents weak wild countries from appearing for 100 steps. I don't know what wild, I mean, I don't know what weak actually means. I know what wild means, obviously. I don't know what the weak part actually means. Like, how weak do they gotta be? Run this direction, run around. Where's this take us? Oh, this just takes us back up to the entrance we were at. Whatever. We just, we went the hard way, I guess. We fought all those trainers. Going that other way over here to this cave. But let's go into the cave now. This is a trainer battle. Let's fight this guy. And I didn't expect to find another trainer in the dunes. Okay, this is going to be a Serabian type trainer. And he is, what is he going to be? He's going to be... Serabian Rashid, he's going to use Modibs, Modibs, and that is a water poison type, level 17 Modibs. And now we're going to use Russian Empire, because of course we are. Russian Empire can use Tactical IED. That's all I got to do, Tactical IED, and hopefully, well, it was a critical hit. Man, that wasn't the best call. It was a fire type move on a water poison type. Modibs use a Planinium shot, which is a poison move, and that's going to be a, be a problem. Definitely a problem. They poisoned the Russian Empire. Great. And now we got to fix that when we get done with this battle. Use Blast, try to take care of Modibs, knock him out, just send him flying, they're gone. And Modibs fainted, Russian Empire gained 382 XP, EXP points, they should level up very soon. I hope they evolve, I really hope they do. Serabian so Rashid is sending out Belize, which is a water type. No, the second gym leader, to, the Flagmaster, I mean the Flagmaster Boliviar of Salampanapa had a Belize, which was very annoying to beat, so we're encountering, encountering another one of those. Use Blast. And Belize, if it has it in there, okay, use Broadside, that's a water type move. That's going to do a little bit of damage. Use the, well, Poison's going to affect Russian Empire even more. Use Blast, take him out. Take him out, please, there we go. I hope the Russian Empire doesn't get hit with Poison. Russian Empire gained 385 XP points. Serbian Rashid was defeated, what does he have to say? There's no need to be so coarse, you know. Yeah, I mean, this is sand, a sandy area. 1,020 Poke Dollars there. No level, no level up for the Russian Empire. Anyway, Rashid says, I like sand. It's coarse, rough, and irritating, and it gets in everything. It's wonderful, isn't it? Just, you can't escape sand out of pepper spray. I need to probably heal up the, heal up our country. Heal up the Russian Empire. It's being affected by poison. Go back, go to backpack. Use the vaccine. We have three of those. Use that on the Russian Empire. Get them recovered there. And also, yeah, they've been cured. It's poisoning. Let's also give them a happy meal or two of them, two or three. Use like two or three of them on the Russian Empire because they only do 20 HP points of recovery. Just use like multiple happy meals on them, like three of them should be fine. One more should do it. At least give them the 71, 70 some HP. I really did think the Russian Empire would level up at level 30, but I guess they won't. Let's continue though. Let's go on in here into this cave. And what's the deal here? Sarabia. Oh, we're out of Kyrut now, I guess. Um, aren't you a bit warm in that jacket of yours? No, I'm fine. And our character, the protagonist of Country Ball Catch em All, is from. They're from a place called Leafland, and it snows all the time. It's like Canada, basically. It, it really is. I mean, they have a maple leaf on their coat, even. Any, anyway, this guy says people in Serbia collect the rain in the basins and basins on the roof. That sounds pretty smart. It, it's then shared by the whole city through aqueducts. Technology is incredible. Indeed, it is. It wasn't here. Was this area? Is this? Oh, it's a store. Nice. Hi there, may I help you? Yes, bye. What do you have? Hot tea, town bowls. So nothing we haven't seen before. And shops, even though we may need to buy a little bit more potions, possibly. How many would you like? How many? Uh, let's get about six town balls. That's good. Yes. Well, actually, yeah, never mind. We're done there. Let's get some more potions, or at least a few first aid kits, like five of them. As many as we need. Get like, yeah, I'd say... Five, want well, six. Six would be good. There you are. Thank you. Okay, actually, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, I don't have enough money. Obviously, I spent it all. What's this person got to say over here to the right? What does she have to say? This is a, some woman here. I'm, she says, "I'm not even here to buy anything. I just love their air conditioning." Yeah, I don't blame you. Air conditioning on a hot day is pretty nice. Or hot weather in general. Air conditioning, you know, air conditioning always comes in handy. We have a battle going on there. 
There's a huge scramble to find the treasure of the tomb. There's a huge scramble to find the treasure of the tomb north of town. Head to Sheikdom Sands by taking the gate in the south part of town. If you would like to take a peek, but be warned, the people of Sarabia and Sheikdom Sands are hardened folk. Adventuring and battling is in their blood and culture. Who's fighting over here? Oh, we gotta talk to everyone, I suppose. What does he say? What's your problem, buddy? What does this guy say? Oh, this Sarabian won't let me be. And let's just talk to random people in this city. Yeesh, those two over there have been bickering all afternoon. And yeah, that is probably pretty annoying. Okay, I've heard stories of an oasis not too far here, not too far from here, but I've never seen it myself. I have to wonder if it's really there at all. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, this man is busting up with his pal over lunch. Better not disturb him. Is this guy doing the same thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. They are indeed. Better not disturb him. Gotcha. What's this guy doing? You, you think a guy could get a decent drink once in a while? This place is dry in more ways than one. That's unfortunate for you. What's this guy say? Sure is a dusty around these parts. Yeah, that's pretty. Alright. What does this woman have this, this person have to say? Up ahead is the Library of Sarabia. It's been abandoned ever since the racetrack opened, though. The only person who's ever seen it now... Who's ever seen there now is the mayor of Sarabia, Saladin. They say he spends all there, all day there with his ground type country balls. And I bet he's a gym leader, isn't he? Well, flagmaster. Weak men seek power, while strong men seek to empower. Remember, th remember this when deciding who you follow in the battle. Says some random guy. And who's this? What she had to say? Walking on sand can be quite disorienting for those not used to it. Watch your step. I'm just talking to all the NPCs here. Don't let the heat fool you. It can get quite cold around here after the sun sets. Okay. That's that conversation and that dialogue over with. I'm just trying to do all this. It's a very populated city, I guess. I heard the pyramids were built by country balls in ancient times, but it might just be a tall tale. I mean, possibly. They don't have hands, so I don't know how they did it. This doorway leads to Sheikdom Sands and the Tomb of Anubis. I'd be careful if you plan on going. Alright, let's keep looking around. Wow, you came all the way from Leafland? Be careful not to melt. Yeah, it's pretty snowy compared to here. Definitely. What's this guy got to say? I don't know what this building is. This area doesn't get a whole lot of rainfall, so I make do by distributing water around the city via the aqueduct system. Neat, huh? Okay, yeah, it is. But what is the deal with this place? We gotta go to that tomb of Anubis and Sheikdom Sands to see what it is. And Anubis refers to some to a ancient Egyptian deity in real life. This person says my grandmother grandmother used to tell me that the prickliest cactus hides the most beautiful blossom. I wonder what she meant by that. Yeah, and what does this guy got to say? Everyone handles problems in their own way, but at the end of the day, assistance will rarely rarely go unappreciated. There's a lot of very, I guess, try sage advice in this particular place. I'm not gonna lie, let's go up here. What's this guy got to say? I've talked to this person before. Waste is not too far here. It's I haven't seen it myself, blah blah blah. Talk to this guy already. What's these two have to say? Light, loose fitting clothing is essential in climates like this. Always dress for success. Yep. Another beautiful day. Sigh. Between you and me, I'd give anything for a good bit of rain. Going here, what is this? This is a pokey center. My country ball was poisoned. It's a good thing I was close to here. Yes, indeed it was. So let's heal up our team. And I might add some new team members to our squad. Calls. I have been informed that if we capture, we don't have to get rid of all of our team to capture new country balls, it just goes straight to the PC. What is these two? What do they have to say? Sorry, no talkie until I finish my coffee. They'll never finish their coffee, I bet. I wish they served food here. They'd probably make a lot of money, honestly. Let me boot up the PC. we got to add some people to our team. Let's go to our PC, someone's PC. Let's deposit all these countries first and just take, well, take, put in the everything we have, then take out the highest level stuff. That's how we're going to do it. That's done. Now let's go back here. Continue box operations. No. And let's go to withdraw countries now. Just take out whatever's highest level. So level 13, level 14. Take that out. I guess we'll take out everything we just caught in the Kairut area. Take Martinique. Take West Sahara. Who else? Slovakia. Nauru is going to come out. They're water type. Who else? Who's high level? Peru. You're getting in our squad, our team. And we have a full team now of country balls. After everything's done, we have, what do we have? We have a, countries. We have the Russian Empire, Cocoa Isles, Martinique, West Sahara, Nauru, and Peru. That's our entire team of country balls from now. They're the highest level ones we had at this moment. Now let's go outside, keep exploring before we go down to the 
Anubis Sands and, and Tomb of Anubis. Up ahead is the racetrack, which attracts thousands of travelers, not unlike yourself, every season. And what else is around here? Well, there's the Library of Alexandria. New sites are great and all, but nothing beats the warmth of home. You don't look like you're from our little town here. This is small? This is... Where are you from? Let's go in this house. He has a house. What's this guy got to say? Few are fortunate enough to find someone who can brighten their days, even when the sun cannot. I consider myself very lucky. And I guess this is this... Is this, this is that guy's wife. Life and love are full of these things. Success and either... Okay, I gotta read that again. Life and love are full of these things we call compromises. Success and either is all about making the right ones. Why is there so many people here in this place that offer sage advice or try to do that? Let's go up here to the north, and this is... I can't access this. This tree is in the way. If only you had some Agent Orange. Agent Orange? That's a move? I thought it was cut. I guess they... You don't have cut in this. You have Agent Orange. Okay, I was a little taken aback by that. Can I go in here? I guess so. This is the racetrack. And can I talk to any of these guys? Welcome to the Surabian Racetrack. Enjoy your stay. What does this guy say? Welcome to... Okay, say the same thing. Say the same dialogue. Okay, let's look around here. What is down here, though? What is indeed here? Let's maybe... What's the point of this place? Let's maybe come back here later. Let's go to the Tomb of Anubis area and Sheik them Sands. I want to go see the racetrack eventually, but at the same time, I don't want to keep talking to every little person we encounter for the entire video. We're in Sheik them Sands now. Who's this? This is a trainer. He says, are you heading to the Pyramid 2? Let's test our skills to pass some time. And I guess there's a pyramid around here. Tomb of Anubis. And this is, who are you? You are challenged by Cliffman Abraham. Cliffman Abraham sent out Monaco. And Monaco is a poison bug type, I think. Russian Empire takes the stage. We should be able to one-shot them. You got this, Russian Empire. Just tactical ID on them, please. You got this. Take them out. That's done. Super effective move. And they're going to be taken out. Who else? What else does Abraham have? Russian Empire gains 177 XP points. Cliffman Abraham is sitting on Monaco again. Not changing country balls. And the Cliffman Abraham trainer seems to be based off of the, I guess, like, Jewish rabbis, perhaps? Their design, anyway. If I had to say, Monaco takes some damage. Monaco's one shot by the Russian Empire, because of course they are. They're level 30. Monaco's fainted. Do they have any more Monacos in there on their team? Cliffman Abraham is sitting out. Lebanon. Okay, that's Lebanon. We're not going to change country balls, though. And Lebanon is a purely grass type country ball, so they're very vulnerable to tactical IED, which we use constantly with the Russian Empire because they have it. Take them out. That's done. Super effective move right there. Great. Lebanon fainted. Russian Empire gained 181 EXP points. Cliffman Abraham was defeated. What does he have to say? You're tougher than Limestone. We got 512 Poke Dollars. What does he have to say? He said something about the pyramid. He said, Taurus often ask how we can stand to live in a rock. But the durability of means home. But the, but the durability means home insurance is very cheap. That's a pretty good deal, yeah. We encountered some wild country ball. I hope it's one we don't already have. Oh, it is. Come on. We're going to retreat here. I'm, I'm going to apply poison spray. Pepper spray, I mean. I don't have to encounter all these weak country balls constantly. I want to progress further, though. So let's go to our backpack. Go to... Pepper spray, we have two left, so we're going to use our pepper spray, and that's going to be effective for a little bit, 100 steps, more or less, just run around, we have a trainer battle here, fight this guy, fight him, being near the cliffs is only natural, I'd go anywhere for my, go anywhere for my what, oh it's a trainer battle, he didn't say what he was going to, he didn't finish what he was saying, but we have a trainer battle, he has one, chief man, cliff man Solomon, he sent out Canada, well Canada, which is, well they're a grass type, I didn't know Canada was a grass type, whatever, let's defeat them with, our tactical IED move. Fire. Just use fire. It's super effective, but Canada is still alive. They use anthrax. That's a move? Well, it's tactics. They're called tactics, not moves. I can So Agent Orange and Anthrax are moves in this ROM hack. And it's a poison move. Great. So they poison the Russian Empire. We have one more vaccine, I think. And that's all we're going to have for the Russian Empire, probably. It's super effective move on Canada. They're down. And Solomon was defeated. 685 EXP points. Russian Empire will be level 31 soon. Cliffman Solomon was defeated. What does he say? As long as I don't look down. He said something about that. We got 640 Poke Dollars, and let's talk to him. He says, you'd think we'd be used to the sand by now, but no. That stuff is a nightmare to deal with. Let's help our... Our, what, our country ball there. Get an item, get a... 
Go to our backpack, go to vaccine. The vaccine, we have one left after this. We helped this Russian Empire. Now let's go onward now and just run around. Can I make our way past him? Can I go around this rock? Or no, how's that work? We gotta go up here, I think. How? Oh, we're down south. No, that's not right either. Where'd I go? I can't go there. Did I soft lock myself? I don't think I did. It's just. Where are... Oh, down here. I thought I couldn't go past that. Whatever. Fight this guy then. He's a trainer out of pepper spray. Whatever. This is a trainer battle. This is. You need a lot of metal to take on the Great Pyramid. Let's test yours. And so we have the third trainer battle here in. Shrieking Sands, Sheikdom Sands, I'm saying Cliffman Asher. He has two country balls. Luxembourg is his first one he's going to send out. Russian Empire should be able to one shot them with Tactical IED. They're an ice type. Use Tactical IED. Take care of them, please, Russia. You got this. Yeah, there, there goes Luxembourg. They're down for the count. And what else are they going to send out? They have a well, 195 EXP points. Cliffman Asher sent out Guernsey. Guernsey is an electric type, I think. They gave us a lot of trouble when we encountered them ages and ages ago. I think in part two, they're, uh, yeah, electric. Use tactical IED, though. Level 16 versus level 30. This should be pretty one-sided. And it is one-sided. And down they go. Guernsey fainted. Russian Empire gained 280 XP points. Asher was defeated. What does he have to say? He says, metal tested. 512 Poke Dollars. I'll take that. And what does he say after we beat him? What's, he, what's his dialogue? Don't get lost in there. And we gotta get our to the Great Pyramid somewhere. We're gonna have a wild encounter, though. If it's one I already have, I'm going to apply the last thing of pepper spray we have and just test our luck after that wears off. Martinique, we already have one. Retreat, I'm not going to fight, fight you. Don't plan to fight you. And let's use our... Go to backpack, use the pepper spray to ward off weak wild countries. And that's going to be pepper spray. We're going to have no more after that. So let's get out of here now and run. Look around. We have trainer battles, possibly. Where's this? Oh, we have a trainer battle right here. I wanted to go into that. Little cave. The pyramid is the largest and most strenuous endurance test you ever face. I hope you're ready. And we have a trainer battle over to the right, I think. And so Sheikdom Sands is going to be Yehida, Yehida, Cliffman Yehidia. He has Angulia, which is it looks like a shark. It, it has a shark fin on its head for crying out loud. Use tactical IED. Angulia and Gaila. I think it has a. It's from a. These blast. That's a poison type, purely poison type. I think it's an island. I'm assuming it is. This ROM hack has a lot of islands. As Country Balls, 501 EXP points. Russian Empire's now level 31. What are they going to gain? Did getting moves? Cliffman Yadidya was defeated. You can do it. So we can get through the endurance test. It is going to be the pyramid soon, I guess. Or fight one more trainer. We'll do that. Fight this guy. And then we're going to go into that cave. The pyramid is covered with lots of trainers looking for gold. So we're going to have a lot of fighting to take place in that pyramid once we get in there. And you are challenged by Cliffman Yosef. Yosef sends out, he sent out Topolau. That is a ground something, ground flying type, I think. Normal flying type, like Gibraltar. Well, Dogalol, Topolau, and Gibraltar are similar in terms of typing for country balls. And there, there goes Topolau, Topolau. 198 EXP points. Yosef is sent out in Netherlands. Will we change country balls? No, what is the Netherlands? Is it water type? I'm gonna guess. Assume it is. It is water ice. And they have... They have... What's on their head? Is that Luxembourg? No, that's not Luxembourg. Maybe it's what Luxembourg evolves into at some point. Because they have Luxembourg on their head, I think. And we took out Netherlands. They fainted. Russian Empire gained 390 XP points. Good. Yosef was defeated. I hope you're prepared. 512 Poke Dollars for that. Now let's head on into this cave, which is the Great Pyramid, the Tomb of Anubis. And yeah, this is basically the pyramid. Essentially, be, be careful before hopping right in. Once you jump into the tomb, you can't return without going all the way through. Make sure you're prepared. And let's keep looking around here. What's this? This is something there. So how do we get into the, the tomb? I mean, I guess we we'll fight like this, I suppose. Fight this guy. We have a lot of people we got to fight. Are you here looking for the treasure, too? Yes, I am. We're all looking for treasure in this tomb of Anubis, aren't we? Oh, wow, this place looks very scenic, doesn't it? You are challenged by Cliffman Peleg. He has... He's sending out Gibraltar. Gibraltar's going to be easily countered by us. Use the... I mean, we have five medic kits. We should be fine. I'm more worried about running out of PP, honestly, in the tomb of Anubis. Use the tactical IED. Tactical IED was enough to one-shot Gibraltar, who's level 18. Now... That guy's going to send out... What is he going to send out? He's going to... Cliffman Peleg is going to send out Kogals. That's a poison type. 
Don't change out country balls. What am I doing? And let's just one-shot that one as well. Like we've been one-shotting nearly everything else around here. Let's get this over with. Do Oh, no, what am I doing? Use tactics, tactical ID. We have 12 PP left. It's going to be 11 after this move. One-shot them, please. Oh, they're barely alive. Don't use a poison move. Please, they used embargo, though. That's only a stat decrease. Good, our defense fell, unfortunately. Use tactical ID once more. Great, that works. Works for me. That definitely works for me. Cook Isles Fainted, we're getting 226 EXP points. Yay, Peleg was defeated. What does he have to say? Now that's rich. 576 Poke Dollars. What does he have to say after we beat him? He says, Truth is, any treasure would have been claimed centuries ago. I'm just here for the atmosphere. Yeah, sure you are. You're standing on a platform that you can fall off at any time, whatever. But I'm going to end part 9 of my Country Ball Catch Em All playthrough here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.